हेलो ऑल माई सेल्फ ऐश्वर्या रायकर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस टुडे वी विल सी डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क सो डॉट नेट फ्रेमवर्क इज नथिंग बट द सॉफ्टवेयर फ्रेमवर्क विच इज डेवलप्ड बाय द कंपनी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सो इट इज नथिंग बट अ क्लस्टर ऑफ सेवरल टेक्नोलॉजीज विच कंप्राइज इज ऑफ द डॉट नेट लैंग्वेजेस द कॉमन लैंग्वेज रन टाइम दैट इज नथिंग बट सी the dot net framework class library asp dot net and visual studio so dot net languages includes visual basic c sharp f sharp and c++ there are many other also which has been created by third party developers but the basic are visual basic c sharp f sharp f sharp and c++ clr that is nothing but common language runtime it is a engine which executes all the dot net prom- programs so clr is nothing but a vital component of dot net framework and it provides the automatic services for the applications like security checking memory management and optimization and the another vital component of dot net framework is its class library which collects thousands of pieces of pre built functionality which can be snapped in in our application and it also includes the features such as adio.net so adio.net is basically used for creating the database applications and the windows presentation foundation that is wpf which will be used for creating the desktop user interfaces asp.net that is nothing but active server pages it is again an engine which will be used to host the web applications and it supports almost every feature of the dot net framework class library so basically when we want to host our web applications then we'll be using asp dot net and visual studio is nothing but a software using which we will be implementing the dot net framework so this is nothing but the diagram which illustrates the dot net framework so as we can see just now the points which i have explained are included here the very two basic components of dot net framework are the dot net class library and clr that is nothing but common language runtime now intermediate language what do we mean by intermediate language basically it is a lower level language and our all the dot net languages are compiled into the another lower level language before the code is executed so whenever the dot net code it supposed to be executed basically first it will be compiled into the lower level language and that lower level language is nothing but your common lang- common intermediate language or simply you can say il that is nothing but intermediate language now the our clr is nothing but the engine of the dot net that's what i've said in the last slide that clr will be the engine which will be executing all the dot net pro- uh, dot net programs so because all the dot net languages are based on il itself they all have the profound profound similarities so this is the reason vb and c sharp languages provide essentially the same features and performance so all the languages are compatible that the web page written in c sharp can be used in vb component so our dot net framework is compatible in such a way that it has a same support over c sharp as well as in vb so how it is being done with the help of the cls that is nothing but common type system which defines the rules for the data types such as strings numbers and arrays that are shared in all the dot net languages and cls also defines object oriented ingre- ingredients such as your classes methods events and quite bit more so how the language compilation is done in dot net it's shown in that in this diagram so as you can see here source code suppose it is written in vb then it will be processed by the vb compiler if the source code is in c sharp then it will be comp- it will be processed by the c sharp compiler and suppose if any other program is there that is the source code is in suppose in any other dot net language then appropriate compiler will be used then it will be passed to the intermediate language code so here dll that is dynamic link library or executable file will be there in your intermediate language code and then it will be passed to the just in time compiler which will convert 
द कोड इन टू द नेशिव नेटिव मशीन कोड एंड फाइनली इट विल एक्जीक्यूट द कोड सो दिस इज हाउ द लैंग्वेज कंपाइलेशन इज डन इन डॉट नेट सो वॉट इज सी एल आर एज आई सेड अर्लियर सी एल आर इज नथिंग बट द इंजिन विच सपोर्ट्स ऑल द डॉट नेट लैंग्वेजेस एंड इट ऑल द डॉट नेट कोड रन इन साइड दी सी एल आर ओनली सो ऑल दी कोड विल रन इन साइड दी सी एल आर एंड वेदर यू आर रनिंग विंडोज एप्लीकेशन और वेब सर्विस it will be applicable for both so and suppose if the client is running asp.net web page so at that time asp.net service will run inside this clr environment and it will execute your code and finally it will create an html page which will be sent to the client so our clr does not only clr executes the code but it also provides a whole set of related services such as your code verification optimization and object management and the second vital component is nothing but your dot net class library which is nothing but a giant repository of the classes which will provide functionalities like reading an xml file from reading an xml file till to send the email messages as it is a giant repository it will have the support to every basic to advance functionalities so any dot net language can use the dot net class library features by interacting the right objects so it will the dot net class library will have the support to every dot net language uh, last but not least visual studio so visual studio is nothing but a rich environment where you can rapidly create advanced applications now let's quickly just see the features of visual studio what are the features first is page design second is automatic error detection next is debugging tools third is intellisense so page design you can create an attractive page with drag and drop ease by using visual studio's integrated web form designer you don't need to understand html so there will be an integrated environment over there you can design your own web form second is automatic error detection so you could save hours of works when visual studio detects and reports an error before you run your application so potential problems are underlined just like at spell as you go feature found in many word processor so automatic error detection makes the task more easier debugging tool visual studio retains its legendary debugging tools which allows you to watch your code in action and track the contents of the variable and you can test the web application just as easily as any other application type so because visual studio has a built in web server that works just for debugging so specially it has a built in web server which will be dedicated for the debugging so that is the advantage and intellisense so it provides statement completion for recognized objects and automatically list information such as function parameters in helpful tooltips so these are some features of visual studio thank you